Hello everyone, my name is Jason, and today I'll be showing you how to use the PageVamp e-commerce platform to create an online store. So if you go to pagevamp.com slash e-commerce, you'll be taken to the dashboard here, and to create a new store, simply click this button, create a new store. Give your store a name, and go ahead and get started. So the first page you'll be taken to is uh, the basic settings for the store. So here, the name of the store, you've already set that. Next is currency. You can select your currency and how you'd like to display them um, with a dollar sign or not or a different symbol. Um, so now you can choose how you want your users to be able to pay. Um, so you can say cash on delivery and set a delivery range. Uh, if you have a Stripe account, you can accept credit card payments and enter your Stripe information here. Uh, and there will also be a third option for PayPal once this is live. And then you click the page that you want to activate the store for. And finally, you can enter a thank you message. And preview that. So after people buy things on your store, they'll see this message. Okay, so once you click finish, you'll be taken to the e-commerce dashboard here, and you'll see a bunch of tabs here. Uh, so we'll start with products. So as you can see, there's already an example product here, uh, which you can take a look at, but we will go through the process of creating a new product. So up at the right, there was that button, create a new product. Now give it a name and an SKU uh, to help you identify it for tracking information to see what items are selling well and what aren't. So it's generally an alphanumeric code. Okay. So now here's the information for this particular product. So let's set a price. Let's say $20. Hit enter to save. Then description. You can edit it. So And save the description and now for options here if you want to add an option uh, or a couple different options say you want to add a couple different colors you'll click add a product option give the option a label of color continue and then add the values so let's add a value of blue and you can set a price increase for each value but uh, I'll do no price increase for blue Add a new value, let's say gold, and for gold I'll do a price increase of $5. And make sure when you're adding options that you hit enter to save. Okay, so now you can add a few photos here. So I'll just add one photo, select files, go to my computer, I'll add this photo of the chair. Okay, so now that product will be created. Okay, so now let's go to the other tabs. So orders here, this is where you can keep track of orders that customers are placing on your site. Um, for discounts, if you want to create a discount code, let's say 20% off for your first users. You set the discount in percent, so in this case it's 20. Create it, and PageVamp will automatically create a code that you can then give to your customers who you want to be able to use the code. Okay, so now in the Pages tab, you simply uh, click which page you want to activate it on, but we've already done that in the first step, so it's activated here for this page. Um, settings is an overview of all the settings that you've already set, except the only new one is delivery settings. So here you can add a few delivery options. So one that pops up as an example is FedEx two days, it costs four fifty. So we can add another one. Let's say UPS ground seven to ten days. And that's free. Save. And there you go. And there's the thank you message that we already saw. Uh, so that's it for the e-commerce dashboard. If you click this wizard, you'll be taken back to the basic settings that you set in the beginning, so you can change them at any time. Um, but now we're going to go in and actually edit, add the store to our page. Um, so here's my PageVamp page. 
Uh, once you go to Pages, click New Page. Make sure it's a custom page. Edit it now. You can also add a store, add products to an existing custom page. Um, so here, near where you see uh, add-ons for text, images, all the things you would normally put on a custom page, to the right of that is a tab for products, and you can simply place your products on the page however you'd like. You can arrange them above and below, to the side, very easy to use. So let's call this online store, save it, and exit the editor. Uh, so now let's actually view these changes on the store. Um, so if we just refresh the page to make sure the changes took effect. So here you'll see that uh, not only was the page online store created, but now there's two new tabs for shopping cart and uh, users can register to create an account on your site if they want their information to be remembered on future visits. So we can go to online store and let's say we like the chair and click add to cart, select a color and add it here and you'll see that it has appeared in your cart up here. Let's say we also want to see the t-shirt. You can look at the different images, add to cart, select some options, add that to cart as well. And now everything's in your cart, so let's go check out. Um, so I've already applied a discount code before, and I have an account on this website, so it remembers me. But here's where you can apply uh, your discount code. And let's say I want to up the quantity of some of these items, but I want to remove the t-shirt. You can do that. And let's check out. Uh, I'll just say check out as a guest for now. And then you choose your payment option. And then you are taken to the secure payment portal. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please email us at support at pagevamp.com. Um, and there will be more uh, tutorials up on our Zendesk page as well as an in-depth guide. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.